Hey, it's Jordan with TYT, TYT Politics. I've been in North Dakota a long time now. This is my fifth time. And honestly, I'm starting to feel a little ill. Mentally, I'm feeling a little down, a little twisted, not sure what's going on in my head. And I don't know if Dapple's gotten to me or something, but I'm starting to see it more from their point of view. Let me go talk to people and see what they think. Man down, man <laughs> down. So we're asking residents here if uh, they have uh, any issues with what's going on. It's been in the news for so long. Uh, obviously, the pipeline's almost finished, but these protesters are uh, continuing to protest. There's been violence. Uh, what, are you, what are your thoughts on uh, who's at fault here and how, what result should end? I just want it to be as peaceful as possible and the violence to end. I think it's ridiculous, and I think it's gotten way out of hand, and it just needs to go away. You think uh, you think one side's been more aggressive? Oh yeah. He, do. he does too. Uh, which side? Um, I think the Indians have been way more aggressive. How so? Than than necessary. Well, there's been. Um, it's been quoted as a drive-by shooting, but I don't think it was, I think it was planned and they knew what they were doing, whoever it was. Um, where which uh, which drive-by shooting? Um, where somebody shot inside somebody's house and killed their cat. It could have very well been a person, and I don't think that was random. I don't think it was a random drive-by shooting. I think they knew what they were doing. Uh what's going on i mean if you want to get down to the business of what they're doing i don't know i think it's wrong you know i mean it didn't go through you know there's a map it's black and white it didn't go through the reservation you know there's probably 500 pipelines above it and you know where was all the hell raising then well, uh, they say it's their land, and uh, as per the treaty, that uh, and the government stole it. Okay. Well, I don't know how long we're we gonna live in the past. You know, I mean, but then you want all this other stuff, and that's today. And then on the other hand, it's for the treaty. And then tomorrow, it's don't worry about the treaty. We're equal citizens. And then tomorrow, it's we're indigenous people, and we want all these rights. And it's frustrating. You know, I mean, I'm not racist. I hate everybody the same, you know, and it's a good outlook. Hate everyone and, the same. Yep, yep. I mean, if you wake up, go to work, pay your taxes, you're just another human being, you know. And, uh, do you have any problem that it was originally supposed to go through Bismarck and uh, they rerouted it to go through the native land? They didn't reroute it to go. It didn't go through the native land as far as, as well, far cl closer to their land. No, I don't. You know, it still didn't go through. I don't know. You know, that's just it. I don't I don't know the facts. Hey, it's Jordan with Real America News, and I'm here with a lovely woman outside of Walmart from South Dakota. Just wanted to ask, obviously, the Dakota Access Pipeline has been a big issue. Uh, what, do you, what do you think in terms of the protesters? It seems like they've been up to no good over there, uh, causing trouble, yes. and uh, they've had to bring in a lot, a lot of police, disrupting the neighborhoods and things. Yes, sir. Uh, this has been going on for too long. It, it should have been over with a long time ago. They've already said that they could go ahead and put the pipeline in. Let them put it in. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just total nonsense, if you ask me. What about, uh, what about their complaints about uh, their water will be poisoned if the pipeline leaks? We do know pipelines leak. Y yes, sir. There's uh, pipelines around everywhere, and with today's technology, if they even thought about being a leak, they would know beforehand. So I think we're pretty safe with that. And uh, do, you, do you care that uh, they say this is their land as per, uh, you know, treaties from centuries ago? And uh, it's just been taken from them without uh, their permission or consultation? Yes, sir. Um, that's what we learned in history is that, uh, you know, it was their land. We come in and we took it from them. And I see where they're coming from. But like I said, this has been going on for too long. Do you care if they built a pipeline right next to your house where your water could be put at jeopardy? I already have one. <laughs> we haven't had any problems, so really? yes, sir. You seem kind of chipper about that. No, well, we don't. Most of the time, people don't know what's in their neighborhood or beside their house, so.
uh, protesters kind of, uh, you know, blo blockading themselves, things like that. The police have been aggressive. Uh, what's your position on the violence and uh, who's more to blame for that? I think it's the protesters are doing things. I mean, the police are, you know, preventing them from actually escalating it more. I wouldn't say it's their uh, being violent. They're just doing their job. It's the protesters that are getting carried away with their setting cars on fire and doing this and that. Where uh, did you see them uh, on video setting cars on fires? Because there's a dispute whether they were actually doing that or not, or whether the police were st were causing the fires. No, I just uh, on the TV, but I take the police's word over the protesters. <laughs> Uh, what do you think about, uh, in some cases, I, I've been covering it, the, the police have been shooting rubber bullets at people. Uh, they've been uh, tear gassing, things like that. You think that's uh, the appropriate use of force? Yeah, if the protesters get uh, rowdy enough, sure. Up all you want! Go shoot this young lady! Oh, hey! Hey! Look at you! You are a coward! You know, I mean, you got to control it. It's not, you know going to be anarchy down there you know police got to do what they got to do to control the situation it means rubber bullets or spraying them with the water or whatever so be it and do you uh do you have any issues that it was originally supposed to go through here the pipeline and uh the town of bismarck didn't want it so they moved it down there uh, i didn't hear anything about that yeah the route originally was supposed to go through bismarck but uh they rerouted it down uh on standing rocks lane okay well i'd been fine with that too i mean we got to evolve, you know, progress is progress. But you don't see it like they see it, that, you know, a bunch of white people said, hell no, and then <laughs> you moved it down on the native uh, reservation? No, no, not at all. And uh, the last thing is about the, the water. Uh, do you feel uh, their water is at jeopardy? Because that's their main, uh, you know, rallying cry, that if this leaks, there goes our water for 18 million people. No, I mean, there's pipelines all over the flipping country with, water and oil and gas and whatnot and sure everything is going to break once in a blue moon but that's you know that's progress water is life! Water is life! if you're going to protest protest out there that protest has nothing to do with here you know they they came here and and raised a bunch of hell in the mall and you know they're walking down main street blocking roads and all this other shit. no that that's not how you do it. That that is their problem, on the negative. That's how they're getting negativity, you know. That's how they're they're making the hate because you're pissing me off, blocking the road, you know. If I got a sick kid or even if I want to go to the post office and I can't get through without getting harassed, we're gonna throw down. What do you think if they were to say to you, you might be inconvenienced, but you're you're pissing them off that you're. Uh jeopardizing their water uh, i'm not doing anything well, not you but yeah, the 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 pipeline yeah, but that's i'm not the pipeline nobody in this town is the pipeline you know uh, all this town did was had a meeting a civilized meeting and decided they didn't want it to go wherever they wanted it here now i didn't even know that there was that option you know i just found i found out about that option just uh, a week and a half ago on Facebook. Because it could look like they didn't want to put it uh, in jeopardy of some white folks and then put yeah, it downstream so. right on native land. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think race, I, I just think we are too far forward in American civil civilization, in our culture, to have anything to do with race. I, I can't see Hoven or any of our leaders saying, no, let's put it down by the Indians because fuck the Indians. You know, I, I don't see it. You know, it's just like Trump. Trump's a racist, Trump's a racist, Trump. No, he said we're going to get rid of illegal immigrants. Well, Trump last year did tweet, uh, just give them casinos. They love their casinos. Well. They do.